I am a zebra. The Ehlers-Danlos syndromes, or EDS, consists of 13 heritable connective tissue disorders. Connective tissue makes up roughly 45% of your body, and connective tissue provides the support, protection, and the structure to your other body parts, which means if you have faulty connective tissue, a lot of stuff can go wrong. The most common is hypermobile, seen in roughly one to every three to 5,000, whereas some of the other subtypes are seen in less than one in a million. While each characteristics uh, of each of the different subtypes can vary, there are some things that are common for all of us. Things like joint hypermobility, skin fragility, joint pain, and just overall fatigue. Now, how it manifests in each individual person can vary greatly, even in between the same subtype, even in between the same family. The hypermobile subtype is the only one today that does not currently have a gene identified for it. I was in my late 30s before I was diagnosed, and it only even got on the radar of my physicians because my sister had been diagnosed after she was diagnosed and came to me saying, hey, I think we all have this. Um, that's when a lot of these things started kind of clicking. And even then I went to my physicians like, I think I have this. And I was told by some folks that, no, you can't. It's too rare. They were kind of scared to be the first one to say that this might be it. I pulled my surgical records previously. And there I found in the operating notes that previous surgeons had noticed that I was actually hypermobile in the surgery, in the operating room, and had to change the way that they positioned me in order to basically treat me like a hypermobile patient. They just never told me. So uh, maybe they thought I knew. I don't, I don't know. This question is a bit triggering. How long? Too long. Putting a spotlight on these rare diseases hopefully means that when the next patient walks into your office and has some sort of unexplained issue, probably accompanied with normal lab tests and results, their physician will remember. Maybe for that patient, it'll mean being diagnosed in months instead of years. To learn more, visit www.osmosis.org zebra.